There have been many more studies with adults looking at mindfulness practices like yoga and meditation. With children, it's an emerging area. There are studies coming out, but the scientific quality is not so strong yet. So we really need more research. So we started with a pilot randomized trial. We worked with about 100 kids across four Baltimore City schools. And these were fourth and fifth graders. And what we found is that students who participated in the program showed real improvements in their ability to respond to stress. So they told us that they were having fewer worries and intrusive thoughts. These are kids who are growing up in incredibly stressful environments. So they're living in high crime, high poverty neighborhoods where they're exposed to stress, often on a daily basis. And there's a lot of pressures on these kids. So we see high rates of emotional and behavioral problems, high rates of problems in school, and kids are at risk for using drugs and alcohol. Ali Ottman and Andy have seen this firsthand with some of the kids that they first started working with years ago. These kids have now gone to college, which not, not all children do in this neighborhood, and have actually come back and are now working with Ali Ottman and Andy, learning skills for how to teach yoga to other young, young people. We now are starting a larger three-year study funded by the National Institute on Drug Abuse that's going to allow us to build on that pilot project and look at even more outcomes and ways that yoga may benefit kids. So we're going to be able to look at things like attention and working memory. We're also going to be able to look at how do teachers think students are doing in school? How is their classroom behavior, their academic performance? We're going to be able to look at whether the program helps prevent kids from starting to use drugs and alcohol in 7th and 8th grade. What Ali Ottman and Andy are doing is showing us how we can translate these kinds of practices to be relevant for inner city youth and have an enormous impact on these kids' lives.